Hi there, I'm Katie and today I'm joined by Becky James. Hi Hello. Katie. And Becky's going to show us three cards using lots of techniques using acetate. That's right, yeah. So what are some of the things we're going to do? Well, we're going to, the three main techniques I'm going to look at are shaping acetate. Okay. And then on this one, I'm going to, uh, a neat little trick about using embossed acetate for printing. Lovely. And then on here we're going to um, look at using your acetate to make your own stencils. And then there's going to be a few little other tips on the one. Lovely. Okay. So Becky, what are we going to do first? Right, the first thing we're going to look at is this actually, this card which is actually made using acetate and we're going to make a lovely three-dimensional shaped acetate and paper flower as well. Wonderful. So you've you've die cut them with your express machine. I have, I've die cut it with that and with when you cut, die cutting your acetate use your metal shim because it gives it something extra to grip okay. onto when it's cutting through a nice hard surface mm -hmm. and it does tell you in your instructions to do that and it tells you what gauge cutting Okay. You need as well. Brilliant. So I've all, uh, what I've done is I've cut three, um, three acetate flowers. I've already shaped two of them, so I'm going to show you how okay. to do that now with the larger one. And I've got two paper it's ones as well. It's lovely. It's got a lovely, lovely clean cut you've got there. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, and uh, as I say, what we're going to do is we're going to heat this. Now, just to be aware, when you heat anything, when you're doing your heat embossing with your powders, anything like that, make sure you're doing it in a well ventilated Absolutely. room. Absolutely. Yep. Good tip. Um, and what I'm going to do, pop my heat gun on here and this acetate will very quickly start to um, heat up and then it'll bend. Oh, and I as see. It it's just a, just a couple of seconds yeah, you need, Yeah, exactly. It? And as it starts to bend, basically just move it away. Now, you won't be able to control it. It's very random and that's probably why I like it. I'm just going to move that off now and move it around. And you can just, if, they, if it curls just a little bit too much, oh, it keeps a little warm, bit of pliability, yeah. doesn't it? Well, if you good. have a feel of those whilst they're done, they go rock hard. So yeah. they, they, they're not going to oh, damage not, or anything like that. They're not brittle, are they? But they're, they're not, not brittle, break. no. Well, that's exactly. Good. And so what we're going to do now is just stick these together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off just with a blob of hot melt glue in the centre there. And, I'll, and as you're doing it, just move things around so that they all sort of worked work oh, together nice. so that they they sort of move and that's really good move and shape between each other that one's going to have to go in there i think and then i'm going to put a blob of glue in the center here obviously so we're going to hide that with a button that looks great so you've just got it's I really you like could that. you know if you've got um a brooch back or something like that. You could put a brooch back on the on the oh, back yeah, of it, I was just and then that look lovely on a yeah. Don't go out in it top. in the rain though because of the paper. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> but you could use fabric instead oh, if you wanted that's to. That's a good idea. And then we're just going to stick it on here. So let's move that in. Blob of glue on the back. But yeah, so you then you'd be making a gift as well as a as well as a, yeah. You could actually maybe attach it with a with a little magnet behind, wouldn't you, yeah. to hold the clasp in? Yeah, a fridge magnet or anything like that as well. That would be good. So there we go. Fantastic. That's that looks really lovely. And that's it. OK, which one are we doing next? We are going to do the oh. little pinwheel this uh, is, hot air balloon. This is adorable. I've got some blue textured card here, and I'm going to use this as a stencil. So if I place it over the top, I'm not going to here, but if you want to hold it in place, a little bit of um, pattern craft tape over the corners will pop it in place Lovely. perfectly and you'll be able to move them around. Now I'm using Artiste white dye based ink mm -hmm. for this technique because I want my white fluffy clouds obviously. Of course, yeah. But even though we sometimes have grey clouds. Oh, don't no. we? No, oh well. no, never mind. We won't need to think <laughs> about that right now. Uh, we've got a nice sunny sky here. Mm -hmm. um, but what I would say is that in the mini um, pack um, of Paper Mania oh, inks, yeah. there is a dye based white ink in there as okay. well that you can use. But with pigment inks, they're often a bolder colour, so that's why I'm using the uh, pigment okay. ink here. I'm not going to put heat embossing powder over the top, but just to know, you do need to still heat set it with your okay. heat gun so that Otherwise it dries. Otherwise it will sludge, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's it. Good. Um, so right, what I'm going to do, we've got Paper Mania stamp pad foam here. Really, really push it into my ink pad so that I've got some ink in there. Mm -hmm. And all I'm going to do is to tap over in light, sort of splodgy movements. And what I tend to do is I tend to start off with it quite light all the way over. 
And then I'll make sure I've got loads of ink on there and then I can really highlight into certain areas. Uh, yeah. So all we need to do then is to lift that oh, up. That looks lovely. That's really lovely. And, and stuff, you get this lovely sort of uh, stenciled effect. So I've already got a panel that's finished here, but I'm going to show you another little thing that you can do with your acetate. And that is to make little moving elements on your mm, projects. Little wobbly. Little wobble. Yeah, they, they used wobble. to call them wobblers, didn't yeah. they? Or something like that, yeah? Now this one is going to, if I, because they're going to come down over the edge like this. This one's going to come, this cloud is going to come a little bit further down. So I'm going to place the cloud at the edge of the acetate. Okay. But with this one, because it's going to stand at the top, near to the top, you'll see that it's actually stuck on the top there, and oh, that'll, I see. that'll hook straight the way over the over Got the you. top. So he'll so, be. So we're going right to have different top. layers. I see. Yeah. So we're going to hang at different uh, at different depths. So again, very very simple to do. Just get pop a blob of hot melt glue on there. You can do it with something like three D foam as well. That will work oh, really yeah. nicely. And just stick that on there and wait for it to wait for it to dry off. Now do be aware as well, um, with hot melt glue, it can, when you're using acetates, make sure you do a, t a test with your acetates, just because okay. so, you don't want it to burn through or anything no. like that. But this one's just fine. Um, right. I guess oh, don't press the end of your gun into no, it, I guess. No, just no. literally just let it sort of no. drop onto your acetate. So, right, this is going to be really easy to do. All I'm going to do is, I know roughly where they want them to go, so behind here, I'm just going to put a blob of glue That's, and I'm going to cover this, it, this is really only to hold it in place whilst I'm, I'm uh, deciding on positioning, um, but uh, let's pop that one there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put 3D foam over the top of it and oh, that, okay. will hold, that will hold it securely in place okay. as well because we're going to use the 3D foam to to uh, put the panel on. It looks lovely. So you've got, you've got this little sort of movie bit going on. And of course, nice thing is that's going to fall flat as well when it's oh, in your envelope. Of like... course, yeah, that's always good. And you've just added some lettering there, haven't you? Yeah, added some lettering and some little gems just to, to put a little... So these are the Madden Payro letters, aren't they? They are. That we, we adore. We adore these, yes. So that's going to just go down the bottom there as a border. Lovely. And what I've, I should just point out as well, there's actually clouds all over this, so you kind of, the stencil cloud, so you've kind of got that depth and that layer, yeah. that feeling of layers with it. Fantastic. Right, now then, pinwheels, I love these. Best thing about these is that they, they're already made for you, so you're not <laughs> having to do it yourself. They're fabulous, I really love them. I love the colours of this one particularly. But what I've done is I've actually turned them into these little hot air balloons. Oh, so clever. So, all it is, little craft card, um, basket yep. on the bottom, but they're stuck with wire. So all we're going to do, just take the the backing off there. And I've I've made them in a couple of different sizes, so that you get the feeling of of um, sort of the the smaller one being a little bit further uh, in the yeah, distance. Yeah, that's clever. And then just to balance up the the uh, clouds that are there, I've got one final cloud here. Ooh. <laughs> Little bits floating all over the place, and I'm just going to pop that final cloud oh, behind that's them. Fantastic. So, and that third one actually balances these it ones. It really so does. So there is a design element towards it. So, so there you go. Wonderful. So that's there's two more acetate design ideas on there. So we're yep, up to four. That's it. So this is another quite minimalist, minimalist card is. for you, isn't it? And I've introduced as well on here just one of the new bot uh, botanical range. Um, little toppers and there. they work really well together yes. those collections don't they, they do now i've cut this to, this piece of acetate has been cut to the size of the border that i want okay so um if you're going to go all over with this technique it doesn't matter but i mm -hmm. wanted a specific size border and it saves me having to mask it and that sort oh, yeah. of thing so um i've cut it and i've embossed it with this delicate flourishes paper um, paper mania embossing it's beautiful, folder that. now what you need to do when you're doing this is and i would suggest before you go straight onto a card with it is maybe to get some scrap card and just have a go so that you get a feel of how much okay. paint needs to be on here okay um you need a, a, a reasonable amount of paint, but you don't want it so thick that when you press it down, it just blobs in, in the okay. centre of the design. I've got you. Yeah. And what we're going to do is I just lay, a, lay it in place where I want it, and almost you just let it fall down. And then just hold it and rub over the top a little bit with your fingers. Just quite gently. 
And then we're just going to pull that back and it will be a bit sticky. Ooh. So I've let that dry on this one. I've got one here that's ready made. And we're just going to add a few little bits of decoration. I wanted to talk about this because I love this fabric <laughs> tape. And it's, do you know what, by layering it up, it's just so easy to get a nice sort of yeah. border. So what we're going to do, just quickly add a little bit of border here. And I'm going to put the, t the, two lo the shortest and the longest one on first. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm going to put the middle one over the top, sort of over the top and overlaying them. So we're going to put that there. So all I'm going to do, just snip off the edges there and get, get those up nice and neat and trimmed. Because uh, don't forget, you can go to docrafts.com and find all the information about what Becky's used on all yeah. these projects. All um, so there. you'll know the embossing folder and the which tapes she's used and so on, yeah. and even the colour of the paint she's used. So you can find that at docrafts.com, yeah. along, along with full instructions to make all of the projects uh, step by step as well. And there we go. Now, in the final one, I have put a few gems on, but I'm not going to do that here, okay. just so that we can, you can see, you can either go for the real bare basic, or you can glitz it up a little Filling bit with it the up. gems. You've put a little bit of glitter and on the little And a little, little bit there, of glitter glue and that sort of thing. But there you go. If you've enjoyed Becky's projects, we'd really like to see what you've been making. Maybe you are tempted to have a go at using some acetate as well. Upload your projects to your gallery at docrafts.com, and we can pop along and leave you a comment. You can also share them on our Facebook page. If you've got a question for us, don't forget to drop us an email to tv at and we'll do our best to answer them. Until next time, happy crafting.